Come in. night man we went to Paco's party called you, you... audience I was just at home <laughs> what why would you it's Paco's party dude Paco it... whatever dude it... dude there were oh everyone was there dude dude everyone we got Kyle was there oh Kyle <laughs> yeah Kyle was I haven't there. seen Kyle in a while dude yeah. There was also Caitlin. Caitlin was there. Dude, just fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, why the hell would you pass that up? Uh, dude, I was just at home dreaming. Dreaming? Oof. Why? <laughs> you missed Paco's party for dreaming? You got Caitlin. You could have hooked up with her. You can't see that shit when you're dreaming. I'm not so sure about that one, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm. Pretty sure you can't do that when you're dreaming. No, dude, I was having a lucid dream. Lucid dream? Never heard of a lucid dream? Uh, no. Dude, a lucid dreams when during a dream, when you're having a dream, you actually realize and are conscious that you're dreaming. And it's at that point that it's really cool because you can actually take control of your dream then. Because, you know, once you're conscious of it and it's all in your head, I mean, you're God, pretty much. You can take control of the dream and do anything. Anything you could ever want. What do you mean by anything? Like, you can do, like, anything? You can do anything that you can imagine. It's all within yourself. You see, that's, that's why lucid experiences are fun, because it's all in your mind. I mean, once you're dreaming something, I mean, you know, that's you. That's you thinking something. I mean, lucid dreaming just allows you to do any possible thing you could ever imagine. That's why it's so great. I mean, all it takes is a little bit of training and you can do whatever you could ever want to. No way. Dude, it's real. Well, then how do you do it? What are these little things you can do? Well, the first step to like actually being able to lucid dreams, you got to be able to remember your dreams. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you have multiple dreams a night. It's just during your many sleep cycles, you don't really remember it because you're conscious. You don't like when you get up, you just don't register it. Your mind doesn't even go over it. So no, I mean, like, I kind of remember some of them. Well, you see, like that's cool. That's a starting point. You know, you got something there. You know, you can train yourself from that point because I mean, you can do something like take a dream journal and actually sit down after that. I mean, get up and if you remember parts of your dream when you wake up, just right when you get up, write those parts down in a journal, and then that's just a way of training yourself to actually remember your dreams. And you can go from there. That's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just the first step. But I mean, after that, you got to learn how to recognize you're in a dream while you're dreaming, and that's kind of the more difficult part. I mean, you got to like have like the trigger. You know, that's kind of what you're talking about before. There's certain things you can do. I mean, common ones like turning on a light switch. I mean, in a dream, I could fly around. I can freaking have any sex I want. But if I hit a light switch, the light's not gonna change. It's just not gonna turn off. Just a trigger. That's one way a lot of people realize you're lucid dreaming. Another one, small text on like watches or digital clocks. It's kind of hard to read. It's hard to make out. It's blurry. Mirrors will do it. I mean, it's all about recognizing these triggers and training your consciousness to be able to expand and actually use your imagination. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting, dude. I gotta go YouTube that. <laughs> you didn't have to YouTube it. You can just try to learn it on your own. Well. Dude, I think I'm gonna crash out tonight, you know? I'm just gonna bowl of cereal, I'm freaking tired. Right, dude. If you wanna watch some TV, that's chill. Okay. Talk to you later, man. Okay, well. Yeah. I love me some Samson's. You too, Frank Thompson. But I was in Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard 2. What are we gonna do? We can't not vote. Nobody does that. Well, you know, we all pick the most ridiculous candidate and write him in. You mean Dennis Kucinich? Hey, I'm right here. And you can keep this on.